Well, I'm going to introduce my first guest, who is an artist, and her name is Jeanette Gil Goulart. Hi, Jeanette. Mm -hmm. You mess up your, your last name there. That's okay. Everybody does. So how are you doing today? Hi, thank you. I'm doing, doing great, and I'm really grateful to be here. Oh, so I'm so glad to have you here, because I, wanna, mm -hmm. I always want to find out what makes artists tick. Because we're all so different in what we do. That's true. That's what's so interesting, you know. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, true. It's like a businessman is a businessman, but we're all over the place. We're all over the spectrum, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so tell me something about you and your art. Uh, what? When did you start thinking about being an artist? Um, I uh, was a little girl, um, and I heard a voice. <laughs> and it was, I did, and it was audible, and um, you're going to be an artist. And I thought, um, wow, <laughs> I was probably seven years old at the time. And that kind of stayed with me, even though I didn't have the opportunity to, to get into it and actually do art full time like I do now. Um, it just was kind of like a secret I held in my heart. Oh. Yeah. That is wonderful. Yeah, that is pretty, wonderful. Pretty special. To well, me. children do hear things because they're still <laughs> close to when they came in. You know. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, it, it was going from the seven-year-old, how did you work towards your, what where you are today? Well, you know, I, da I dabbled for mm -hmm. years, and uh, you know, it was always there, and I always loved it so much, and it always fulfilled me uh, deeply, and. Now, um, I got into the field of hairdressing, and I was a hairdresser for 40 years. Wow. Yeah, and so I, um, now I'm able to, you know, just put more towards my art and really get into it like I always wanted to. And so that's been great for me now. So I'm really well, you happy know, about that. The hair, doing hair is uh, an art, it too. Is an, it is an so art, So you too. went from one art to mm -hmm. another art. It was a creative <laughs> pursuit, yeah. And so I think that satisfied me for a while, and it was a great and fulfilling career. I mm -hmm. met a lot of wonderful, wonderful people yeah. that are very dear to me. Mm -hmm. And um, I get emotional about that, but <laughs> 40 years of um, doing hair. That's fabulous. I think it's wonderful. I've always, I, you know, I fooled around with doing my mother's hair and people hair like that. So it was fun. So you must have had a lot, a lot of fun. <laughs> I did have that. fun. I did have fun. And, and so and how, they did were you, fun. how did you, did you uh, resign from that and start your art? I'm or going into, into um, the transition of um, retirement. And oh. I'm, you know, it's time. Uh -huh. 40 years is a long time. And I, like I said, I want to pursue my art now. Um, and start a new career is what I'm doing. That's fantastic. So, so it's, it's been great. So tell me what kind it's of art great. you do. I do mixed media uh, primarily and abstract is what I've been doing lately. I didn't start out that way, but um, I just love abstract and I love mixed medium for the freedom it gives you. Yeah. Um, a lot of freedom of expression and um, I love the textures. So, and abstract is, is also very freeing for me. Um, I think that's fantastic because with me, I'm absolutely not abstract. No matter how much I would try to do it, <laughs> it wouldn't work. <laughs> I, I'm too it's realistic. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Yeah, it is. It's different, but I, it tends to suit me and um, I, you know, with abstract, you kind of, you pull from the inside, really. You have nothing to look at. That's right. But you pull from inside, which is um, um, very, it's deeply satisfying to me to be able Great. to bring whatever's in here outside and it's on the, the campus. Oh, my gosh. So, well, and so you, you, what did you say, you use mixed media? Yes. Acrylic, um, I will... I would collage and, and use a lot of gesso collage, maybe go over that with, with um, acrylic. Wow. Um, sometimes I start off with acrylic. I use a lot of, um, I use markers and line work. Um, I use a lot of scraping into the paint. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Various, <laughs> various um, and, and that's what's so great about mixed medium because you can do, 
if something's not working, there's always something else you can add to make that work. Wow. Whereas with, uh, I used to do watercolor, and, and that was more, it was not forgiving. That's the hardest, it's that's hard. the hardest medium. It is hard, and it, you've got to put, lay it down, and it's got to be right. And with mixed medium, it doesn't have to be right, right off the bat, but it can still be beautiful. That's fantastic. So, so you don't do any oils or... I've never done oils. I, I love um, acrylic. I love water base. Mm. And I think it was easy for me to transition from watercolor to acrylic because of the water base. Yeah. It's fast. It's easy to clean up. It dries fast. I, I work fast. And so it just really suit, it suits me. Yeah. That, well, that's, that, it really it does. Me. It really does work in that way, especially if you can do things in a hurry. Yeah. You know, if you yeah. if you had to wait and wait and wait and do yeah, it that over. just makes me nutty. That, that <laughs> makes me nutty. I don't want to wait. <laughs> well, so. I hadn't done oils for years because every time I would start an oil painting, I have to wait for it to dry, and I forget it. I lose the momentum. I, I have a whole bunch of them sitting around mm -hmm. half yeah. done. You know? yeah. I but I found momentum. out now that. Uh, you can get water, uh, water oils. Wow. Yes, water oils. And also they have uh, something that you can mix in with your oils that makes it dry overnight. Oh, my gosh. So, so it's opened a whole new world. Well, there you go. <laughs> Is it water cleanup? Yeah. The oils, the water oils, it's water cleanup? Yeah, water oh. cleanup. Yeah, just like you, my husband uses. I've never tried them yet. <laughs> have to check into that. I Maybe I can mix it with my <laughs> mixed medium. I love pastels. Do you ever use I anything? do, and I have done pastel. I love pastel. I kind of got away from it for a while, but um, I can rem remember back in the day, and that's very forgiving, too. Yeah. So did you bring anything in for I us to did. see? I did. I have are? three pieces that I brought in um, okay. online. And Michael, show us. Oh, they're very beautiful to me. <gasps> this is called Paris in Spring. Oh my gosh! And it's um, it's collage that has been painted over, so it's collage and acrylic, um, and some marker marker that I've I've used for w some wording and things yeah. in there. And um, but it's all those different shades of red. It's just beautiful. Really oh, look at this. This is, called, uh, this is uh, Big Fish in a Little Pond. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I, uh, mostly acryl acrylic, uh -huh. some scraping, and, and some line work with um, a rigger, oh, a rigger brush. That's beautiful. Uh, thank you. And oh, another one. And this was um, very textured and layered, uh, ma many, many layers on top of each other. Um, collages underneath. Uh, there's a lot of texture to it, and um, it's called Pajama Party. Pajama Party. Where do you get names for something that doesn't look you know, like a pajama party? I know it, but to me it did <laughs> at oh. the time. Um, okay. Actually, I was, talk I was online um, on Facebook, and I was um, chatting, posting and chatting with my friends, and I was talking about how I go out right straight in the morning with my pajamas on into the studio and of course everything all my clothes have paint on them <laughs> and some of the ladies were saying that they also did that no and kidding. yeah and I had just finished this and I thought pajama party that'd be a cute name well so I that's just, why I named I it I just that. love the lightness of it and the, the, those colors up in the left hand corner just beautiful thanks Carol and I'm not an abstract lover, but I really I oh, like that very you. much. Thanks. Did you bring another one? Is that it? I believe that's all. Okay. Yeah, well, listen. Three. Where are you doing your art? Where are you showing it? You know, I'm just now at Sor uh, Chris Sorensen's studio and oh. in booth 36, and I'll be there. Um, my first art hop there is this August 3rd, I believe, the first yeah. Thursday art hop of um, August. And I'm very excited to be to show there because I can show ev every month, and it's a great group of artists that are there. And, and Chris is, you know, oh, you know Chris. Yes. I know great Chris. guy. I was in forty. <laughs> I had that 
40 in, and I had all my art was beautiful. It really was. It just the going back and forth oh, I wish at I night could was hard see for me. Your stuff. <laughs> I'll have to. We'll have to get together after, and I'll show show me your art. But um, yeah, it's it's a it's a great place to show, and I'm also showing at Rolf's Gallery and Framing right now. And where is and that's that? on Bullard. Bullard. Um, I don't know the name of the the center, but um, it has left me right now. But um, Bullard and West. Bullard and West. Okay. I believe that's great. Uh, either Bullard and West or Bullard and Marx. And that's Rolfs. Rolfs. R O L L F S. Um, and do you, do you have a website? I have a website. Um, www.jeanettegalart.com and it has all my work on it. Um, it's very easy to look through and to um, you know to look through all the um, different pages oh. of all my different art and different sizing. The uh, prices and the sizes are on there. Oh, that's great because I I love to have a place for you to go, but I also like to have a website to so look, that you know so it. they can just. Go mm -hmm. anytime they want to go in and yes. do a website. Yes. So I'm just so happy that you came in this morning. And you Thank know you. what I'm we're so doing I... here now? We're not just interviewing. We're trying to promote people. So be come. Be sure to come back again. And the more you come, the more people get oh, to sure. know you. I'd and love so to. You, you'll come and be a guest again, won't you? I would love to. Oh, Maybe I won't be, be so, so nervous wonderful. next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you did. You did great. And we'll see you coming again. All right. Thanks so much. We'll be right back. <laughs>